So in this lecture, we're going to discuss the implications of fraudulent reporting or the effects on the external auditor. Well, do these names sound familiar? Dell Computers, Diamond Foods, Xerox, Parmalat, Olympus, and Wells Fargo. What do they have in common? Well, let me throw a couple other names in there. Enron, MCI WorldCom. Yeah, all of these at some point have had a financial statement fraud. And they all had external auditors that audited the financial statements despite the financial fraud. So obviously these can have some pretty bad implications on external auditors. So we're going to go over some keys or some notes to the external auditors to make sure you have this in the back of your mind whenever you're out there doing a financial audit. So auditors need to be aware or beware of outside stock analysts will put pressure on top management to meet or exceed expected earnings. So that pressure will sometimes put management in a position where they feel they need to do something to the financial statements. Revenue growth is a key driver for management goals and analyst expectations. So driving that revenue up is very important. So therefore the auditor needs to ensure they have sufficient evidence and sufficient time to ensure all impact on revenue is proper. Complex transactions must be understood by the auditor to ensure the economic and financial impact is correctly reflected. And the importance of internal controls. Understand the weaknesses because the fraudsters, like cockroaches, will find the unviewed or unreviewed places to escape from being caught. And you must take the hunt for financial statement fraud seriously and develop procedures to address specific fraud opportunities. If you keep these five things in mind, hopefully you won't wind up like Arthur Anderson and not doing financial audits anymore. And that concludes this lecture on the implications of fraudulent reporting.